A coalition of political groups and eyewitnesses slammed statements by Egypt's military rulers regarding the killing of mostly Coptic protesters on Sunday. Participants condemned the attack on peaceful protesters and voiced several demands listed by Haytham Mohammedin, a member of the revolutionary socialist group. Sunday witnessed a massacre orchestrated by SCAF against peaceful protesters, Muslims and Copts, he says. We demand a fast transition of power to civilians and putting all those responsible for inciting violence against Copts on trial, including Information Minister Osama Haikal, the Minister of Interior and Hamdi Badin, military police commander. Also present to give her eyewitness account was Mary Daniel, sister of Mina Daniel who died of gunshot wounds at the protest. No matter how I explain to you, you will never imagine how horrifying it was. People were being gathered in blankets. If you wanted to go find your brother or friend, you would have gotten killed too. Israel doesn't even do this to Palestinians, she says. Sunday witnessed one of the most violent clashes in Cairo since the January uprising. 27 were killed and over 100 injured. Mary, who cried hysterically on Sunday after her brother was shot right in front of her eyes, was more composed than holding up at the conference. I never loved Egypt before. I never loved Egypt. But Mina, with his persistence and passion for our country, made me see a new side of Egypt, she says. But while the military council denies that the troops were armed and that the tanks crushed the victims, forensic doctor Magda Adli, who was in charge of the autopsies, had a different story to tell. The number of bodies we received that were deceased due to contusion crush injuries were more than those of gunshot wounds. Who is responsible for this kind of injury where the victim is crushed by a heavy object? I have no answer for that. However, SCAF had denied on Wednesday any forceful attack on civilians and pinned the blame on Copts for starting the crisis by attacking the army, leaving the families of the victims with nothing but confusion and pain. In Cairo, Farah Safin for Daily News Egypt.